Hello my lovely Scorpios, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising, so please take the energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate, then leave it where it is. Okay, wow. Okay, I was going to say we're going to put a card from the Crystal Angel deck first. We're going to find out what is your blockage today, Scorpio. This could be in anything that resonates with you. So it could be uh, your career, your finances, your health, your love life, whatever you uh, want to know. This is what is blocking you and what the solution and the outcome is. So the Oracle card you got from the Crystal Angel deck is Moonstone, which is your heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness, knowingness as it is trustworthy. And you also got rose quartz. Love life, new or renewed romantic love is here for you. Okay, so you've, you're going to have to trust your intuition. And your intuition might come to you quite quietly, like a whisper. Like intuition whispers to you. It doesn't always come shouting and screaming and booming at you. So trust your intuition because you've got a new love or a renewed love, like someone from your past could be coming back. Um, or it could be in a relationship right now and the relationship is going to get a new like renewal of romance and compassion and love and all of those wonderful things. Um, but trust your intuition as well. Okay, because at the moment it's heightened. At the moment it's guiding you. So really listen in, trust it. Okay, so let's get into tarot. Okay, so angel spirit guys, what's the messages for our lovely Scorpios today? What's blocking them? What's the advice and what's the outcome, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so the first card we've got is the Wheel of Fortune. Then we've got the Five of Cups. We've got the Princess or the Page of Swords. We've also got the Lovers card. The Four of Cups and the Death card. Wow, what an amazing selection of cards we have today. And you've got three major arcanas as well. Okay, so your current situation is the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune, things are turning. Things are starting to turn around for you. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is all about karma and luck and change. So even though you might not feel it right now, behind the scenes, um, the universe is doing its wonderful magic and things are starting to turn in your favour. I feel like you may have gone through um, maybe not some bad period, um, maybe a challenging period, maybe even a stagnation period where you just feel like nothing's bloody moving. Well, currently the universe is working its magic and it's starting to turn and things are starting to become a little bit more um, lucky and in your favour. So the Five of Cups here, this is your ideal situation. The Five of Cups is about you looking back and... Um, Maybe you're feeling a little bit regretful, which is maybe why the renewed love's coming back. Maybe you're looking back and regretting a relationship that didn't quite work for you. And maybe now you're having second thoughts. And you're thinking maybe you want to reach out to somebody. But I feel like your ideal situation at the moment is something has happened previously. This could be a career, it could be love. I've got the love energy here because you did have the rose quartz um, there. You also had the moonstone, like your intuition. So you could be having that little niggle in your voice to reach out and contact someone. But you're like, no, 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 I don't, no, 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 no. But I feel the universe is asking you to listen to that little niggle because I feel that there is something in your past that you're regretting the way it kind of ended or the way that it turned out. And your ideal situation right now is to um, right that wrong and try and fix that. So that's your ideal situation. The blockage you have, though, is the princess or the page of swords, depending on the deck, uh, it will depend on what card you have. Um, 
I feel with this card, what you're stuck with, what your blockage is, is actually communicating, is actually finding a way of communicating with um, this person, this career, whatever it may be. What's blocking you is actually having the courage to reach out and communicate with them. You're not sure how they are going to react to you. You're not sure if you're going to be shot down. And this could be the fact that maybe you've left a job and you want to go back to your old one. You've got to reach out to your previous employer, but you're not sure how to um, word an email. You're not sure how to, you're just not sure how to communicate with them. Um, and that is what's stopping you. That's what's stopping you from following through with the thing that you actually want to do. It's stopping you from following through, uh, listening to that little intuition. I feel that you just need to take that big jump and just put something out there and all they can do is say no. And if they say no, at least you've got your answer. But I feel what's blocking you right now is actually finding that way to communicate with this person or these people to try and um, right the wrong from something that you feel didn't end in the way that you hoped it would and you want to try and see if you can put it right so the solution we've got here is the lovers card and the lovers card obviously is about love so i do have a strong feeling that this reading is about love for you uh, scorpio um i feel that the solution is to if it, if it is about love, if this is resonating with you to do with love, I feel that you need to reach out to your person. No matter what, no matter how you communicate with them, no matter how you speak to them, I feel that you need to reach out to your person. It's also about choices. Now, this could be that you have a choice to say where you are and a choice to reach out. It might be that you have a choice of... Um, I would say different partners, but we haven't got the three of pentacles here, so there's not a third person involved. It could be a choice of careers for you, could be a choice of jobs, could be a choice of homes, but there's a choice here. The solution is that you are going to have some choices that you are um, going to be able to make, and that's the solution. You need to have the choice of either um, being with this person that you want to see if there's anything else there. You want to have the choice of possibly going back to a previous employment, a choice of homes. But it's a very, I feel for some of you, you're gonna to have to choose. And for some of you, the solution is that when you reach out to this person, it is gonna be another love affair for you. There is gonna be love here, but they can't be love until you reach out to someone. You can't have the career until you speak to someone. So the solution is to make the choice to reach out and it will lead to a lot of um, fulfillment and enjoyment for you as well. So the advice that you have right now is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is about um, distraction. I feel that here you've got your Three of Cups here and they're all fill, filled up and you've got all of them lined up and they're part of your life. So but you're distracted by this one thing. And I think that is what, it, that, that thing that you're distracted by is the Five of Cups. It's whatever happened in the past that you that ended in not the, it didn't end in the way you hoped it would. And I feel that you wanna go and write that wrong. So the Four of Cups is that you are feeling very distracted um, and you're procrastinating um, actually reaching out to this person or these people this job you're procrastinating you're finding every excuse you can to not message them to not email them to not pick up that phone you're finding every excuse possible to not do it and the advice is to stop procrastinating and to just do it I feel that you need to just do it because you can't move forward of your life if you don't take action, okay? You're procrastinating doing, like moving forward because a fear is letting you, is taking over. I mean, you've got the Moonstone card here, which is about your heightened intuition. And like I said, your intuition whispers. And it's your fear that comes at you very loud and booming and telling you that 
don't be stupid, remember what happened last time, don't do this, the reason why you left was because of this. All those the fears are coming back towards you um, and they're, they're shouting, they're screaming at you that you can't not hear them, but your intuition talks very quietly and whispers and it's about you zoning in on that whisper and taking action towards it. The only way you can quieten down your ego and your fears is to take action on your intuition. And I feel that's what the advice is, is to take action, stop procrastinating, stop listening to your ego, stop listening to your fears, to quiet them down, you take action on your intuition. So the overall outcome for you, Scorpio, would be the death card. And the death card is about, um, it's about death or shedding the old version of you and starting to step into the new version of you. It's about a rebirth. It's sometimes like the people that we are, Ten, we were sorry 10 years ago and not the person that we are now and the person that we will be in 10 years will be completely different to the person we are right at this moment okay and this is about you leveling up again this is about you having a rebirth it could be the fact that you go back to your employer and you ask uh, for your job back and it's about stepping into that new that position again with a new mindset it's about contacting that loved one that you that didn't end particularly great for you and it's about you um rebirthing that new relationship maybe you've changed maybe you've grown maybe you've healed and now it's time for you to step into the the version of you that you need that you want to be you're ready now okay for some of you this message is for you you're ready now you are ready Whatever it is that you want to do, start your own business, recontact that, that loved one that got away, um, contact the employer for a career, whatever it may be for you, whatever's resonating, the angels are saying to me, you're ready now. Take action. Okay, so don't know what that is. Please let me know in the comments what you're ready for. Okay, we're going to get some answers from the Angel Answer Oracle card. So think of a question or two you'd like to ask the angels and we'll ask them to answer them for us. Okay, while I'm shuffling and while you're thinking, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe and that notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. I do them, um, yours comes out every single Thursday, Scorpio. So do keep an eye on that. And if you subscribe, you'll never miss it. Um, if you'd like to know where I get my oracle cards and my tarot cards from, I have listed them in the description box down below. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, I now offer them. Um, so do head over to my Etsy shop. Um, it's still a bit a bit quiet. I'm getting there slowly. I'm adding more slowly. Uh, but if you'd like your own personal reading to do with love and career, please do drop me a... Uh, please do head over to the shop, sorry, and book in for your reading. Okay, so angel spirit guys, what is the answers to our lovely Scorpio's question, please? What's the answers to our lovely Scorpio's question, please? Show me what we need to see. Show me what we need to see, please. What do our lovely Scorpios need to know about their questions? Okay. All right, they don't want to come out today. Okay, Angel Spirit guys, what do we need to know, please? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's too many. I'll take that one. Okay, so the first question is answer is there is something better? Okay, there is something better for you. The second is to compromise. So sometimes to reach success, we need to compromise. And the last one is success. You are going to be successful. You're going to be very successful in whatever 
it is, whether it's reaching out to a loved one, a career, buying a home, whatever it is, you are going to be very successful. Maybe the thing you're thinking of is where you are now, is that uh, should I stay where I am? And they're saying there's something better. Uh, you may need to compromise different things to be able to achieve the things that you want. It doesn't always work in our favour. Sometimes we need to readjust ourselves. On the bottom of the deck, you do have that there is no need to worry, Scorpio. Everything is going to work out exactly how it's supposed to. So what I've got for today, my lovely Scorpio. Thank you for spending that time. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonated with you, then please do drop it in the comment box below. I read and respond to all my comments. I love to connect with you all. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and hit send this out to more people and hopefully give somebody else a little bit of peace and clarity in their time of need as well, which is my main goal of doing this channel. And another quick question, just before you head off and run off the door or do whatever you need to do, if you would like, if you like the setup I have here, that's absolutely wonderful. But if you would like me to do more face to face with the camera and talk to you, please do let me know in the comments below and I will try and get the courage to be able to do that for you. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day today and enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.